This is Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. And today we're going to go to some diners, hit some bars, and maybe knock over a bank or two with Robert Mitchum and the Friends of Eddie Coyle. This is Eddie Coyle. The Friends of Eddie Coyle was based on a book by George V. Higgins, a former prosecuting attorney who turned his expertise into a career as an author. Uh, wrote a lot of uh, best-selling crime novels. Peter Yates, the British filmmaker who had a terrific heist film uh, before this called Robbery and then the smash hit with Steve McQueen, Bullet, as the director. And it's the kind of movie that just can't get made anymore. It's actually pretty impressive it got made at all because even back then this was not a guaranteed box office hit. It's a series of encounters in diners, bars, cafes and garages. It's about low-rent working class criminals and their day-to-day -day lives. Robert Mitchum gives a standout uh, performance as the lead. He was, at the time, a movie star, uh, perceived to be a little bit on the wane, and uh, he looks weary and battered. You can see all the years and all those miles just weighing down on the man. Uh, he also does a pretty solid Boston accent. He plays a small-time hood named Eddie Coyle, who's trying to get out from under a seven-year stint in prison for a truck robbery, and he's making moves in the underworld to make some money and trying to get off the hook for the crime all while trying to cling to a very clearly outmoded sense of honor that doesn't seem to be shared by anybody else in the film. Mitchum is really only in the film for about half of its running time. He owns the screen when he's in it, but when he's not, the rest of the cast do a pretty damn good job of keeping it together without him. The great Richard Jordan, who's one of my favorite character actors, uh, he always seems vaguely menacing and depraved. Uh, Peter Boyle is in it, playing uh, one of the long string of slimeball characters he played in this one, uh, he's a bartender who's one of Eddie's many friends. Uh, that's Stephen Keats, uh, who is a terrific character actor. Uh, he practically shares the movie with Mitchum. He's pretty much the other main character. This is his very first movie. Uh, it's kind of a surprising yin-yang of established star on the wane and fresh face. Keats went on to do a lot of great character work on TV and other features before his untimely death in 1994. They're showing you pretty much all the action that's in the film, in the trailer, but really most of the film is guys talking. Uh, guys talking in bars, guys talking in diners, guys talking in coffee shops. And the conversations are riveting and revealing. As a writer, uh, Higgins was uh, a big fan of letting characters reveal themselves through their dialogue, and that approach really works here. Stephen Keats' character, by the way, is named Jackie Brown, which ought to give you a hint as to uh, the fact that Quentin Tarantino is a big fan of this movie. If you look especially at Reservoir Dogs, you can see the influence because uh, so much of that movie is just guys talking and seemingly banal conversations that have this sort of strong and powerful sense of dread lying underneath them. The title is, of course, ironic because if these are Eddie Coyle's friends, who needs enemies? It's a grubby, violent, dangerous world, but it's the only world they know. 